Tell me about this great thing. Well, this is the JARS communications truck. It's called JARSCOM. It basically has any and all radios that we need to do a deployment. We uh, soon to have uh, 800 megahertz Viper in there so that we can get the interoperability uh, clause uh, with the county. You guys spent quite a bit of time setting this up too. Oh yes, there's uh, two HF stations, 440, two meters, 220, all sorts of uh, radios in there. They think we even got Marine Band. And this is all voluntary, right? All voluntary with the JAR sir. Richard, tell me your name and your position. Richard Futrell, president of the Johnson Amateur Radio Society. Excellent, thanks. JAR's COM emergency vehicle here as well. Quite exciting to see. It's getting further set up, but it's in process. Be available to help out in emergencies. Really neat how they've retrofitted this. Check this thing out. This is um, these antennas. Look at that. Great. They're also using this as a source for power for the testing today. And we've got a nice fan chart here. I think we have enough antennas up there. Take a look inside of this center here. This is still being retrofitted. You can get a general idea at least. They're ready for any emergency around to see the front. What a great vehicle. Very cool. We'll go around and look at the other side. See this too? 